Hey, what's up you guys? So, today I have a quick tutorial. Uh, this one I'll show you how to make a queue for your map. So as you can see, it's on my uh, hotbar now, or above my hotbar now. There are zero out of zero required players. So how I have my system set is whenever you're in creative, you won't be counted as a player. But once I go into adventure, then you count as a player. So how the system works is whenever uh, I have four people, like four or more people in the game. Um, once like four go, at least four go into this area, then a button will spawn. But everyone in the game who's like, everyone who's in the world has to be in queue, in this queue area to be able to start the game. So the button will be here, but if it says, for example, four out of five players, but the button's there and you press it, it won't do anything. So, unfortunately, I don't have enough people to actually showcase that, but if you just copy how my ba uh, how my commands are, then it'll work pretty good. So, starting out with the first two, um, zero tick. So, scoreboard player set, players IG total zero. So, here. Let's see. Objectives, add player. Okay, so total... Okay, so you're going to need to make the objective total. So I have a bunch of other um, things here, but you just need to make objective. So scoreboard objectives add total dummy. So you just need to make that. All right. So it'll, it'll set the total to zero over here. Execute as M equals A. So this is only if you want it to have them... Um, like it'll it'll count them towards the score if they're an adventure if you want you can get rid of this and it'll do it to everyone in the game including people excuse me in creative so but for me i just have an adventure uh then it adds player ig total one uh here's the next row this one zero tick first one setting players are total zero next one so execute as a, a at the specific coordinates range of 25 m equals a and then it adds player r total one and so for my coordinates as you can see negative 2 negative 47 99 so i just have that like in the center of my queue so negative 2 uh negative 47 and then 99 wherever that is so that'd be at the campfire so i just just find like a center point in your queue and then do like a radius so the r equals that's a radius so these are the coordinates that's where the campfire is and then i just have range equals 25 blocks so as you can see i'm in a radius of 25 blocks but once i leave this little box area it'll disappear just like that but once i go into the little box area then uh, it appears again so just set up a range and find out like how big you need your radius to be for this to work um and then this one so uh if execute if score players are total matches one to three run set block air so what this is doing for me uh you can do this how you like i'm explaining this because you know all this will be you know it won't make sense if i don't so matches one one to three so you know how i said i need four or more players for the button on the barrel uh to appear so if it's less than that which would be one to three then it sets it to uh sets the block where the button is supposed to be to air so it's uh negative uh one negative 46 and then 94 so if i go over to that coordinate negative one 46 and whatever, and then, yeah 90 right here so as you can see the coordinates lead to it being right there so um, you want to find where you want your button to be in the queue and if you have less people than your required amount for the button to appear like let's say you are required to have four or more people or eight or more people for your map to work then this just makes it so that button won't spawn if there's less than that less than the required amount and this one actually spawns the button so um, player players are total matches four or more so the dot dot that means four or more if there was no dot it just be four so four or more and then run and then it sets the block uh the same coordinates i showed you with the button and then stone button facing direction one so the facing direction that just makes it facing upwards and i just have it as a stone button so if there's four more people then it'll spawn the button uh here's the next row zero tick for the repeating this one here uh, it's a uh, operation, so players IG2 total equals player IG total. 
Next one. Scoreboard players operation players ID2 total minus equals players R total. Okay. And then here, uh, zero tick on this one. Scoreboard players operation at E. Name equals start game. Total equals player ID2 total um, for this guy here. So the total is also going to be applied to this armor stand. And then the final one, this is a tell rod. This actually displays, so right here, I have it paused, but right above my hotbar, there are zero out of zero required players. This is actually what displays it, so zero tick. So it's going to be long, but this is just how I have mine set up. So it's title raw, at a, the coordinates, the radius, action bar, and then you just type all of this out. And then what this will do is it will display um, the, what do you call it? Uh, the ac the action bar, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. So to display the action bar, which is above the hot bar, and it'll just show the uh, required players when you're inside the queue. And if you're wondering what the players IG and the players uh, R is, they're they're basically fake players. Um, you can like whenever you're doing scoreboards, you can have fake players. Like you can literally just put random letters and it would count as a fake player like if you really wanted to um when it asks for like a, a name of or like an entity type then you can just use a fake player so that's what these are for so um this system uses a, uh, a few fake players and that's all you need for this first bit to actually like have the system work so this is how you would actually like start the game so if i go up here this is the command that I have for the start game. So I'll only show you the first command because you only need to see the first bit. So don't worry about the TP. So after run, don't worry about all that. You can have that be whatever you want. But what I have mine as is it execute as at E, name equals start game, which is that armor stand, scores equals total equals zero, C equals one. All right, make sure you have the C equals one. That's very important. And after you do that, then basically I just have everything else run from there. So all my commands... Um, after the first few have the total to that and then reset map votes and then, yeah, and then yeah so that's that's just the rest for my map so you don't need to worry about that but that's really all you need for your system just those commands that armor stand uh, and then I showed you that first uh, thing in here where execute as a E Name goes start game, scores total equals zero, C equals one, run, and then that's all you need for the first bit in your start game commands, and then you can have whatever you want after that. So that's all you need, and that's how you make a queue. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, if something doesn't work, then make sure you didn't miss anything. Uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. Make sure I didn't make any errors. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, pretty quick video, and talk to you guys later.